Hey folks, I'm Travis Vigil with Dell Technologies and you've joined me for yet another episode of Talking Tech with Travis where we'll stop at nothing. For those of you that know me, you know that I love to run and you also know that I love to start off these episodes by finding parallels in my work at Dell with my passion for running. Now here's a good one. Every year, the top running shoe brands come out with the next generation shoe. And some years they're making minor updates, small adjustments to a proven design. But then every few years, they come out with a complete redesign, an even better, faster design. And it's based on customer feedback, industry research, and new technological breakthroughs. That's not unlike my new Hoka One One Mach 4s, which I am currently wearing and I absolutely love. Now here at Dell Technologies, we have just delivered a huge new launch with PowerStore and PowerMax. All new software features, workloads, and even deeper cybersecurity. And here with me today to dive into the PowerStore and PowerMax details is Martin Glynn, the Senior Director of Product Management for Primary Storage here at Dell. Martin, are you ready to take on one of our largest storage launches ever? Oh, can't wait, Travis. Awesome. Awesome. So uh, on our last episode, we had a bonanza episode of storage innovation. And it went over uh, our Dell Tech World announcements. And since that conversation plays heavily into what we're going to be talking about today, could you just give me a brief summary around the software-driven innovation we've been focusing on? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that episode was a great episode. Uh, I thought Shannon, David, and, and Mark did a really great job. Just to recap sort of where they were coming from on things and what they were talking about. Um, customers are experiencing you know, several challenges. So they're dealing today with you know, operational silos while also trying to push developer productivity. Uh, in that context, they're seeing evolving cybersecurity threats and they're having to manage across now multi-cloud complexity. So. We see those challenges as uh, potential opportunities and using our software driven innovation, you know, our customers can overcome those and really transform how they operate. So ultimately I thought the, you know, the, the team there did a great job walking through the challenges and describing how our products um, can play really a unique role and help our customers boost productivity, reduce that risk, uh, ultimately invest in our solutions with confidence and finally get the value they need to from the data they're storing on our infrastructure. Yeah. Thanks for that overview. And, and I agree it was a great a great episode. I think you actually have to say that since you, you work in my organization, but thank you anyway. Um, it's been a busy and exciting uh, summer specifically for primary storage. Uh, can you go into some details about uh, the product announcements at Dell Tech World? Uh, specifically on PowerMax and PowerStore. I would love to, Travis. It's uh, you're right. It has been an incredibly busy summer, um, and I can I can say without hyperbole that these two product launches are the biggest uh, releases of, of innovation and new technology and capability that I've seen across the industry in my 20 years. So, absolutely huge um, innovation and, and breakthroughs for our customers here. And it starts with Power Store, right? Power Store, we've been, uh, we've had the product in market now for two years. This is the third major release. And it's the biggest release since our, uh, the introduction of the product. The pace of innovation on Power Store, really unparalleled. Um, you know, there's, there's really never been another product in the industry that has delivered new capabilities as quickly as we have with Power Store. And it starts with the architecture, our container-based architecture that lets us innovate um, with different modules within the infrastructure and deliver new capabilities to our customers um, really, uh, really, really quickly, ultimately. 
And then there's Power Max. Power Max holds a special place in the data center. A lot of our customers really love the product and what it does for them for their big mission critical environments. And this refresh of Power Max, also the largest refresh we've done with Power Max in at least a decade. It's been uh, an absolute uh, refactoring and redesign of the system while keeping all of the important capabilities We've taken the opportunity to deliver a whole set of new uh, hardware and software capabilities in the PowerMax platform. So really, uh, really exciting stuff. Yeah. You know, you were with me at Dell Tech World. There was a, a ton of buzz around PowerStore, obviously. Um, but what was really palpable to me was the excitement around PowerMax. And, you know, you've been associated with, with the PowerMax product line for, for quite some time, Martin. Uh, you talked about it as the biggest refresh in, in a decade. Tell me what it was that we've been working on. And, and you, you and I know we've been working on this release for, for many years now. T tell me, you know, some of the details on what, what makes this release so uh, innovative and so uh, important in terms of the uh, capabilities that we're bringing to the market. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think the, the thing that we do periodically, it's like I said, doesn't come very often, is we really take the opportunity to take a step back and uh, refactor and redesign the product to set it up for our customers for, to be successful for many years to come. And that's exactly what this new release uh, of the PowerMax is. And in some ways, I think we were really fortunate because we had the coming together of some new hardware capabilities with a software architecture that we have in PowerMax that is really well designed to, to meet the mission critical needs of our customers. So we had the arrival of things like persistent memory, um, a new RDMA, NVMe based fabric on the back end of the system. Uh, DPUs built into the to the uh, media enclosures. So we had some new hardware capabilities that let us integrate with into the software architecture to deliver uh, an absolutely new experience for our customers from from top to bottom. We've had a focus on efficiency, everything from the RAID architecture to the way the system scales to um, the total capacity, uh, and then a whole host of of new uh, new software innovations. Yeah, it's it was it was really awesome to see uh, the PowerMax customers there. I mean, they were as close to giddy as you know, kind of a, a storage administrator can get. It was it was amazing to see. Now, now on the on the PowerStore side, um, there were a host of, of of innovations as well. You said it was uh, the largest release that we've had to date. And when I think about it, you know, I think about the the capabilities in in sort of four big buckets. Uh, first, better data mobility. Second, uh, more enterprise file capabilities. Third, more VMware integrations. Uh, fourth, deeper cy cybersecurity. So talk to me about those four areas of innovation. And then, and then there's a word that I've heard you know, us use uh, with relationship to PowerStore and PowerMax of continuously modern. So talk to me you know, after you talk about each of those areas about what that means um, uh, in our portfolio. Yeah. So... It's a hundred plus new capabilities in PowerStore. So we could go on for, for quite some time about all of them, but I'll just hit the highlights in those areas. So mobility, we've got uh, a new, um, you know, from the ground up Metro implementation um, that lets our customers take advantage of, you know, sync operations uh, within their environment for when they need high availability or mobility. And we took the opportunity um, in our new architecture to really design it from the ground up for modern operation, for simple operation. So it's a, it's a Metro setup, you know, enterprise class capability that can be configured in five clicks. That's awesome. You know, it's like uh, w watching customers go through that, that series of steps and seeing the, you know, the, the light in their eyes. It was, it was awesome to see. Yeah, it was a ton of excitement for those who got their hands on it at, uh, at Dell Tech World. And then you talked about file, right? So um, our file capabilities, we've already got a modern container-based uh, file uh, you know, protocol layer built into the system. And now we've added async replication, a number of security capabilities, mobility from other products into 
um, our file uh, file layer within Power Store. So just another range of capabilities there that really lift any kind of limits you know customers may have in their data center. They can do anything they need to do, whether it's block or file. And then you mentioned uh, you know VMware. So we have really uh, from the beginning of Power Store led the industry in terms of VMware affinity for VMware environments. Power Store has really a world-class set of capabilities and we've continued that. So now we have integration within our Power Store UI, you know, for, for visibility from every layer of the VMware infrastructure. So um, just continuing to make it really super simple, modern, easy to manage VMware environments with Power Store. And then the last thing, of course, is security. You know, this is an area that, like we like we talked about at the beginning, is is an ongoing focus area for our customers. And while we talk about all the cool uh, software capabilities, I'll mention a hardware piece here that's really critical to make sure that the foundation of the system is secure, and that's uh, what we call hardware roots of trust. So the hardware root of trust that is built into PowerStore ensures that you know cust uh, uh, attackers can't you know, work their way into and tamper with the system, you know, from the inside out. So just one of the new uh, set of uh, security capabilities we built in the power store. Yeah, and and you bring up security, um, and we'll get to continuously modern in a second here, Martin, but you, but you, you mentioned uh, security. And I know in every customer conversation that I'm in, you mentioned cybersecurity or cyber resiliency or cyber attacks and the customers lean in and they wanna know what we're doing. Uh, we had, uh, as part of the Power Max announcement, this, um, this saying, this tagline of the world's most secure mission critical storage platform. What, what does that mean? Yeah, it's, it's a great, great question, Travis. So, is it, is it well, just marketing? Is it real? There's, there's a whole bunch of different parts to be able to make that claim. Uh, I'll mention a couple highlights. So one is uh, is a term that we're we're seeing used more and more in the industry called zero trust. And the implication for zero trust is that when you design your infrastructure, uh, you really ensure that every way in which the system is accessed or interacted with um, is designed to be validated. So you don't just you know trust uh, any particular layer, whether that's the software that's loaded on it or the user is accessing it. Every layer needs to be designed and. and PowerMax was designed from the ground up to be uh, a zero trust system. So that's a big piece of being able to say the world's most mission critical storage. The other piece of it though, is when you do get attacked, how do you detect that? And then how do you respond to it? And so um, within PowerMax, we have coming in the next quarter, uh, the ability to detect uh, ransomware events in particular, right? So that's one that's really top of mind for customers. And when I think about that detection, I, you know, in, in the we've had other episodes where we, we talk about having that detection as data is going into the cyber vault. You're talking about detection in the primary storage array. Yeah. And it's not one or the other, right? It's a layered approach. Absolutely great clarification, Travis. Yeah, we've, we've, had, uh, we've had an incredible a uh, solution that uh, in our cyber vault today, right? Um, uh, but customers need protection at every layer. Uh, so we'll have the ability to detect this, um, you know, near real time within the storage infrastructure to, to see that something anomalous is happening, uh, you know, in the pattern of a ransomware attack and, and let, our, let our customers know, hey, you need to go check things out and make sure everything's okay. From there though, let's say they did it detect something, right? How do they recover? And that's where, uh, PowerMax has, um, you know, really granular and a huge number of snapshots, so up to 65 million snapshots. 65. That, why? Why does anybody need 65 million sh snapshots? Yeah, it's, <laughs> you hear that number, you're like, would I actually use that many? That's a lot of snapshots. Um, and we have customers today who are running millions, and they see the new platform. They're actually planning for tens of billions, and you get there pretty quickly. You know, if you uh, if you have important data and every every customer uh, we talk to has important data, they want to make sure that even if they're attacked, they lose as little as possible. And so the way to do that is to take very regular snapshots every 10 minutes for a couple days. And then maybe you stretch some of them out over a week, uh, a little less frequently or a month. Uh, and from there, if you're doing that across a few thousand devices, you get to you get to millions pretty quickly. That's awesome. So Martin, we, we mentioned continuously modern earlier on in the conversation. I've heard uh, us refer to it as um, a key theme on PowerStore. I've heard us uh, refer to it as a key theme on PowerMax. Uh, 
it's more than a feature or capability. It really is a philosophy. Tell us a little bit about how we ensure that these uh, solutions stay fresh and stay uh, modern. Yeah, you know, we talked about a ton of great new capabilities. And what we know is that they are going to continue to evolve, right? And we need to evolve with our customers to make sure the infrastructure is meeting their needs. And there's a few parts to that. First, uh, like we've talked about from the beginning, is that a lot of our innovation, most of our innovation is software driven. And uh, we make it a part of our philosophy, like you said, Travis, to let customers upgrade into those new capabilities on the infrastructure. So that's something we've done with PowerStore and PowerMax and, and a whole range of our products. But that is really a, a focal point for us that customers can get take advantage of new capabilities as we deliver them in software. Uh, and of course, the other things like new drive types or uh, new front end protocols, those generally we make those easy to add to the systems where it makes sense. The, the next layer to that is when you want to be able to upgrade the controller infrastructure. And we, we've since we've introduced PowerStore, we've had the Anytime Upgrade Program. Anytime Upgrade Program, when we deliver new controllers, you know, that's when customers are able to, uh, you know, refresh their controller infrastructure, which is something we're working on for a release upcoming here with the new platform we just announced with PowerStore. And we've now added that same capability to PowerMax. So when we deliver new hardware uh, on top of this already new hardware with PowerMax, customers will be able to easily take advantage of it. So it's uh, it's really a part of the way we're thinking about the products and how our customers need them to operate going forward. Yeah, I mean, that that is really cool. It's like, uh, you know, if I wear out my running shoes, they automatically, you know, refresh to the latest, you know, the latest and greatest uh, without me having to do, you know, much if anything. It's it's a very, very valuable capability. So, so Martin, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, the folks that listen to this uh, uh, to this conversation love the details, and thank you for providing such great uh, color and uh, detail on what we've done with the latest PowerStore and PowerMax releases. Thank you, everybody, uh, to listening in with uh, Talking Tech with Travis, where we'll stop at nothing and we'll catch you next time.